Thank you for coming to iPadHowToUseIt.com and right now I'd like to spend a little time and just show you some very basic gestures and some very basic gesture ideas uh, which is something that was very difficult for me from using a mouse to using iPad and once you get it, it it's not too bad so the first thing is is where you would click with a mouse now you tap with your finger now here it happens to be a website that I'm already uh, brought up and uh, if you want to zoom in to something you just spread your fingers apart or you pull them back together if you a lot of times like these uh, on the side here you need to make it a little bigger so that you can uh, see what's going on get into it and what's nice about the pad is you notice how I make it bigger and the font still looks nice and smooth despite uh, being larger than what it was originally The other thing you can do is that if I were to type up, tap up here, you notice that it brings up the keyboard because it knows that because I touched in this area up here that I want to type something. If I do select all, I can change the website to something like and so we can go to a weather site. And again, you scroll up just by pushing the page up or pulling the page down instead of using scroll bars I kind of like it a lot better than I would do with my PC the other thing is if you're going to be editing documents uh, you have the ability to again scroll up if you want to copy it word you now press your finger and hold it there you say select, it'll select that word and leaves these little bars around it that you can then drag over to grab more text. Oops, I didn't mean to get the other line. Here, select, and then drag it back here where I really wanted to go. Touch copy, that copies it. And then if I touch down here and I touch and hold, you get my little hour little magnifying glass, and then I tap paste and I can paste it in. And with icons you can uh, use this to swipe between screens. You can also use it to move icons around on the screen. So for instance if you touch and hold an icon you can move it up to another place and it will push the others out of the way. You can also take icons and touching and holding, there we go, we can actually bring them together to make a folder. So these two guys, if I do like this, I can actually start creating a folder for these. And I can put now this one into that folder, and this one into that folder, and so on. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you've learned something useful and I hope you enjoy using your iPad.